Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how you go about adding levels to your model space. So the first thing you guys want to do um, before you add your levels if you is you want to make sure that you guys are in an elevation view. So you want to go over to your project browser, you want to go down to your elevation area, and you can actually go to any of these four elevations. It really doesn't matter when you're adding your levels because it will add it to every single elevation. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my north elevation. You can double click on it. I already have it open, so I'm just going to go to it here at the top. Once I'm in my north elevation, I want to make sure that I'm in my architecture tab. I want to go over to my datum area and I want to click once on level. Once I click once on level, it will bring me into that tool and I want you guys to notice what's happening as I'm moving my mouse up and down. So that will allow me to set what height I want that level to be at. So this is one way you guys can set that level height. It's just find the level that you're, or the, excuse me, the height that you guys are looking for. Um, and you can just click once and that will set that level down. Um, one thing before I click is I also want you guys to notice how the dash blue line is um, coming up. That is allowing me to know that my line is um, lined up with the previous levels that have been placed by Revit. So if you guys are a stickler for making sure that things are lined up, then you want to make sure that you find that dash line. So once I have my dash line, I have my height where I want it. Let's just say I want that to be 12 feet. I'm going to click once. That will set that level down. Once it sets it down, I just want to move in the direction that I want that level to go. And again, I'm looking for that blue dash line. That's how I know that it's lined up perfectly. Once I have that, I'm going to click that second time and it will set that level down. To come out of that tool, I can hit escape once and hit it twice to come out completely of that tool. Now, if you guys wanted to change that height once you guys actually place your level you are able to do that as well um, to do that you want to click once on the level itself you want to wait until you see the box appear over your height you want to click once and then you're able to type on your keyboard what you want that to be so for instance let's just say I wanted that to be 24 feet instead of the 22 I can hit enter and Revit will change that for me and you guys can do the same thing with um, changing the name of your levels as well. You'll click on it, allow it to highlight, click in there, and you guys are able to change what you want that level to be named, depending on the project that you guys are working on. So I'm just going to hit Escape to come out of that. And that is how you guys go about adding a new level into your project. Um, thank you guys for joining me for the tutorial today. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed um, this video and you guys found it helpful. And please feel free to leave me a comment down below on videos that you guys are interested in seeing.